When it comes to an Android One device, what we recall is a cheapy smartphone that comes with pure Android experience but fails to impress us with its hardware. But the newly introduced Android One phone in Nepal, the GM5 Plus, that is designed by General Mobile, is a little different. The phone doesn't just come with pure Android nougat sweetness, but also sports competitive specs. So should you buy this Android One phone? Let's find out. The GM5 Plus looks attractive from the front and the side, but the same cannot be said about the back. The slim, chamfered metal frame makes the device look slimmer than it really is. The buttons are also made out of metal, and the power button is easy to spot with its dotted texture. The polycarbonate back kind of looks cheap and outdated. The camera bump and huge general mobile branding make the device look even uglier. But when it comes to holding the phone, the phone does provide a good grip. The 5.5 inch Full SD display used in the phone is a good one. The color reproduction is near perfect and the viewing angles are wide too. The best thing about the display is the great outdoor visibility it has. The display is protected with curling grill glass 4. After 2 weeks of use as my daily driver, there are very few faint scratches in it. The phone powered by Snapdragon 617 that is coupled with 3GB of RAM is powerful enough to be used as a daily driver. The apps load pretty fast, the display touch is pretty responsive, I could switch between the apps with an ease. The phone doesn't hit much, but when I use the phone's camera while charging, the phone's frame got a little warmer. The loudspeaker on the bottom is pretty loud and so is the earpiece. The earphone that comes with the phone is of good quality as well. During the time of my review, both the data and Wi-Fi connections were stable and I didn't experience any call drops. The phone has 13 megapixel autofocus camera units, both on the front and the back. The primary camera is accompanied with dual LED flash and the front too has got a LED flash for taking selfies in underlit conditions. The photos taken under ideal lighting conditions come out sharp and well detailed. The color reproduction on photos are well okay. But if you want to take photos with more vibrant colors, you can do so by turning the SDR on. The regular selfies are well detailed but come with a darker skin tone, so I personally prefer the selfies taken with the SDR on. The phone can suit full SD videos both from the front and the back, so I found the cameras in this phone to be on par with the pricing. This is an Android One phone, so software is the best part about this phone. It comes with the Android 7.0 Nougat out of the box and after the latest update, it's running on Android 7.1.1 with security patch of April 2017. You can easily access the Google Assistant by long pressing the home button. The Google Launcher is simple and keeps four of the must-use apps on the top of the app drawer. What I like the most about this version of Android is grouping up notification it does and the option of quick reply straight from the notifications of the messaging apps. The GM5 Plus comes with a 3100 mAh battery and the battery performance of the phone is well average. Once fully charged, I got around 3-4 to four hours of screen on time in normal uses. In case you run low on power, the GM Turbo Charger with Quick Charge 3.0 will get you covered. The unit I tested took a little under 2 hours to fully charge. The GM5 Plus, the Android One phone that was launched a year ago, still seems worth buying if pure Android nougat experience is what you are after. Plus, other impressive aspects of the phone are its display and cameras. But the phone lacks a fingerprint sensor, so the phone security is all about patterns and the passwords. So if you don't mind having a phone in 2017 without a fingerprint sensor and NFC, then GM5 Plus is worth the price of 25000 With a promise to see you in the next video, this is Santos with Gazi by Nepal, signing off.